working on my end so that we can all go let's press go live all right see brilliant we should all be live let's get going just make sure everything is all working once again on my end hope you can all hear me all right so um first things first welcome 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 everyone back to the channel um been a long, long hiatus, hasn't there? And that is for the reason if those uh, that did not see the community post, uh, I have moved house. It's a better house, really enjoying it. It's very, very nice indeed. Um, but you might be able to tell I'm in bigger rooms with less furnishings at the moment. You could probably be able to tell because, of course, I will have an echoey voice until uh, we do get some furnishings in and I do sort things out like that but I don't like the idea of sitting quiet and being inactive for so long um, YouTube is a very good hobby of mine and I want to keep that going so um, today um, we are going to carry on with our IGN Pacific campaign uh, just to ease ourselves back into things and well, like I said it has been quite a long break so uh, what are we doing well it appears we have some sort of carrier thing over here I think I did um, play around a little bit uh, by myself to scout around and get some uh, idea of what I'm doing going once again. So uh, we did have a uh, transport uh, convoy over here. Uh, we did deal with actually uh, the invasion ships there. So I believe this is a county and a few destroyers left over here just south of Formosa now. Um, and what we're going to do now then is, I think, we're sending the uh, zeros around to see exactly what's going on over there. Have 19 zeros over here, and we're going to spring our capes back, of course, uh, to the Akagi to make sure we're all good there. So, we're going to try and get Puerto Princesa up to a level 3 port, I think. It's a very, very tempting idea to have a forward base. Um, and we're going to start sending, I think trying to get either Taui Tau or Brune for that level 3 airfield as well and then we can actually upgrade that further as well to a level 3 port if need be. Um, the thing is with more of these uh, four bases uh, we're going to have a greater pool on resources down here aren't we but they are needed because we are going to be sending we do in fact already have our invasion support group over here. Um, I'm thinking about actually bombarding Manila now uh, we do have our Zwiha over here for protection. This is very, very early on in the morning at uh, 8.24 in the morning. Uh, so we will we will very likely be intercepted by uh, aircraft over here. do have a couple uh, submarines out over here, but they are currently idle. So we're going to push in uh, over here some very light but long patrols over here just to keep an eye on the Philippines for us over there. We do have some engineering coming to truck, but we do have something guarding truck from the enemy, so we're going to have to scout this out. I'm going to scout it out with just some zeros for the minute and see what is over there, and then we can bring in some perhaps some Mavises or Bettys to deal with that. So, before we press play, is there anything else we need to do? We have the Masashi Task Force over here, uh, trying to come in to Kude, and that is, I believe, to rearm, but also we might want to just quickly check on the tactical view exactly what sort of damage uh, we have sustained in this task force, so I, I know what to send back to uh, rest and repair properly. Uh, that's actually fine. So Kishima is one, says heavy damage, but we can see it's mostly somewhat lightly damaged components all over the ship here. And I think we can live with that. We can see most of them are actually in the 90s there. Uh, Kumano might be a problem because it did get hit by quite a few shells uh, in the previous engagement. This is the engagement, of course, uh, where we were um, outgunning, technically, the enemy fleet. But uh, it was mostly uh, Cleveland's as such at very close range. They were able to batter us. But I think that's looking okay, really. Although I do want to risk that. So there's one bow. Our torpedoes, our propellers, rather, looking okay. The torpedoes themselves actually incidentally are looking okay as well. So I think really it's just a case of rearming uh, this group. Welcome back mate, I was a bit worried when you restart. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry about that. Um, just like I've said, I, I, uh, if you missed the community post, um, I have actually moved house and therefore uh, 
Uh, it's just just been a really long, really long process. But I'm glad to be back. Glad to have you back. I'm really, really keen to get this moving again. And I think Alive is the uh, the best way to get going. So we're going to press play finally. But already picked up something from a Glen. It's just a Pfizer over here. We can also that and it will go down. But there's not much a Glen can do about that anyway. So, encounter at Cebu, and that would just be this FISA group over here, but so I doubt it will start uh, engagement here. I'm just watching where these uh, planes go to. Uh, I'm very likely just uh, the bases around, but this, rather interesting going out uh, easily over here. Found something else at the Glen. Just outside Midway, have a very quick peek at that, but it does say it's a cargo uh, group. And certainly it is, just a few cargo ships over here. You can see our... Um, submarines actually aren't in that area not quite close enough not to worry there can actually that's something we need to look for uh, we just just missed that we were rushing to Okinawa because it looked like this group was going over there we've destroyed the um, supply ships over there so what we're going to do is we are going to chase this down because we did just catch a glimpse of another group over here. Do we have any spare Jakes or Pete's about, perhaps? No, we are using, can't be using all of them. We'll recall one or two. Mm, this is just a radio one, we can uh, recall that. Uh, we do, of course, have Soddy over here as well, which will have some zeros available. It does only have, have three zeros currently available. Um, if I've been shot down or they're out scouting as well. Just send a quick zero out here. Very, very wide search over there. Very quickly. Don't need to put that on a returning search. For now, at least. Yeah, you can see all of these uh, scout planes coming off here. Mm, sight is something else. We can ignore that for now. Just another cargo group. Really, I've got my eyes set. We've got a tunnel vision on this a little bit. Invasion support has been caught, so we're going to send out some aircraft from the Zuiho. Send out the zeros over here. We'll just make sure they're above invasion support, not supplies. Mm, how far down are they? We've got so many task forces. There we go. And we'll just double check our formation. We're on line ahead, not ideal. So we're going to go for mm, just three column or a battle line is what I generally like to go for. Uh, convoy might not be so bad at the moment, actually, because you do get the extra protection there. I think the Zuiho is actually not too bad at the center line there at number one still. Fuso, same. Um, Issei, I might bring to the rear at number seven. What else is at number seven for the Yeah, that's pretty ideal, actually, for uh, NCA defense. Um, eight, nine, ten, they're all good. I think that's about as good as we're going to get here. So let's get in. Hello, uh, Alex DR. Yeah, glad to see you too. Uh, glad to see these people um, hopping in so quickly to a uh, impromptu, I will say, live stream. Um, I'm mostly doing this because uh, I did have minor technical difficulties uh, because I've been a bit of an idiot with how I've... Uh, I do have two separate uh, monitors. One of them is a 4K screen and I don't usually use that. So I used that to record an episode earlier and um, didn't use the correct resolution for the game on it uh, because it was so, so tiny on uh, my large screen. And the it was fine to look at while playing it, but uh, while recording huge black borders around uh, every side of the screen and I couldn't fix that. Uh, but we're fine now. We've sorted it. We're on, we're on the smaller one now. We're on the usual. Back to formula. So we do have what appears to be a lot of wild cats out here. And let's just double check that. No, we don't actually. Just took a very quick glance. There are buffaloes. So um, what that means is these are just, of course, the airfield planes, which it did look like on the uh, strategic map. So we give everyone like individual attack order there. And what we will do is, even though they are only fighters, we will uh, put up some smoke. And we will, of course, make some minor maneuvers away from them. Alright, so... Uh... Since I had lots and lots of planes, actually. Ooh, we did miss that, actually. So we can regroup with a few fighters, just bring them away from that uh, attack order. Uh, doesn't matter that they're in line ahead at the moment. We'll sort this out in just a second. 
what we will do is we'll bring them down to attack these uh, Avengers coming down. There's only so far, of course, these fighters can uh, go to hurt us. They are carrying minor bombs. But the uh, torpedoes, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, they'll be active when they launch against us. As opposed to when uh, we use Avenger torpedoes. <laughs> they just never bloody work. Uh, so we're going straight on him. Straight on him. Uh, downed a buffalo already by the sounds of it. That's excellent. Uh, we will come around over here as well. We did only send four down to start with. I'll be looking in the air engagement there. Oh, we're going to get that one. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, we've lost a zero there, though, which is rather unlucky. What's going on here? Just catching another one. Oh, is that a wildcat, actually? This is a wildcat. Interesting. Hmm. Hopefully that is uh, land-based rather than carrier-based. But then again, we haven't seen, like I said uh, previously, we haven't actually seen any major fleet carriers since the start of the series, have we? How are we doing against these Avengers now? Just catching up to them. Probably should have slowed our speed down. We are going max speed, uh, which means we can't easily one-pass them. That's okay. It's absolutely fine. Still got a lot of time before they make it over here. Our formation is struggling, weirdly. Got to slow that down. And try and just turn out like that again. Probably has to keep an eye on that to make sure we don't get any collisions. So we get some long range shots out over here, certainly can. Try and pick these off. Excellent, so that's the first wave done of Avengers. So uh, we have two more over here. Just try and click that, so there we go, excellent. Hello, c -Doo. Yeah, um, I don't generally go live. In fact, um, the I was doing an American series live, but uh, I had some things getting in the way, I'm afraid. I do plan to go back to it. I do plan to go back to it. Uh, but no, this is very impromptu. Very impromptu stream. Uh, we'll go for an hour. We'll go for a couple hours, I think, if we can. I'm not doing anything else all day today. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we have downed all of the Avengers, have we? Brilliant. So what are we doing with our formation over here? What are we doing? Because this is very messy and going completely against our, our waypoints. Considering it's just fighters, I think it is safe to uh, tell everyone to stay stationary now. What is going on? We could slow down here. We could probably get that guy. No? Okay, uh, we need to give people more orders though, because otherwise we're going to start losing zeros, despite uh, downing a lot of their planes here. It looks like this one possibly retreating. And in fact, let's take a quick report, because I think, uh, yeah, it's only a handful of fighters left, actually. We've got these two over here, and uh, the wildcats we saw trying to retreat. Uh, very lucky, actually, to have only lost the one zero. I mean, they can stick around to protect us that much longer. Uh, the home up with the scouts room made me dizzy. How much time do you take everyone to set all the scout planes in place? A long time, a long time, until I get Carpal Tunnel, uh, to be honest. <laughs> but um, I'm, I would say that's actually rather light scouting compared to what I've seen from other people. Um, I could certainly be more active with it. It really is a long process, though. It is it is a long process because it's so fidgety. Um I think there needs to be a small, um, perhaps a very quick uh, select button, perhaps for recon. Uh, send out, I don't know, say send out one plane, one fighter or scout in certain directions, uh, like a radial dial perhaps, uh, if I'm making any sense. Uh, make uh, make things a lot easier, because that's all we really need to do with these scouts. Get them out uh, in every way, in a 360 degree sort of patrol. That does appear to be everyone though in this particular engagement. That's 21 out of 21. No bombs or torpedoes hit us. We're all free to leave there and we can go and uh, bombard Manila very soon. Um, how much distance is there to Manila? It's 59, 60-ish kilometers. Um, I think it's a 30 kilometer uh, bombard range. So we can probably just go here and bombard it. 
You can give that a go. Yeah, give it like 32 kilometers ish, and then we can bombard it from there. I don't think I'll run down our ammo like we have done previously to zero. Um, that's because we're still waiting on getting resupplied anyway to make sure these ships are active. Um, so I don't want to do that at all. Give it one cheeky bombard, see if anything happens. If not, we can we can take it as it is. Um, so what's going on with this group over here? Did we make it over? We didn't actually keep alive to it because we got distracted. But it is moving away. Anything in particular? Anything nice? Just a few destroyers, maybe? It might even just be a, a submarine if um, since we just loaded up the game. And we can't see anything. And the visibility is only 45%, but uh, you'd imagine... You'd imagine we could see something fairly easy like that. We did uh, spawn right on top of them. Yeah, okay, that's there's nothing really uh, worth looking at here. That's rather sad. Rather, rather sad. We'll just tell these to go back to base. That's absolutely fine. And if anything, it means our supplies over here are just that much safer, doesn't it? Um, hmm. I'll just keep pressing play, really. That's the thing. We've got so many things out and about. Uh, oh, we've got a destroyer back from rest and repair. That was a Fubuki, I believe. So that's very, very nice indeed. Yeah, we can see they're, they are certainly coming from um, one of the bases now. We should be in range, though, to bombard this at least once. No? Okay, it says it must be in 30, 30 kilometers. How close are we? Okay, 20 out. Or 10 out, rather. That's okay. It's all good. We'll go like that. That should do. Excellent. And we did reduce... Ah, uh, excellent. We reduced the airfield. That is the one I would have preferred to, of course, uh, reduce, because it is, of course main defense there just uh, that much easier for us so we're going to um doesn't look like these are supporting us properly we'll just um let's change that up a second and go back just reissue that order uh so we go to invade support pull out get out of radar range and that means we can move and scout around a bit easier in this area so much for leaving uh, manila alone eh, and taking it as a level five and five <laughs> so so battered now uh, track and launch aircraft and counter to side pan. This is what really gets me that a lot of time I do edit this bit out a little bit. Um, is we get so many random uh, encounters uh, just from the middle of the sea, but you can see we're scouting out and nothing's happening. Let's just merge uh, these ships again, like so. I sent out so the destroyers to hunt down a submarine. We did guess it. So we're waiting for uh, the next day, day 189. Um, that is when we're next going to get resupplied. We didn't catch that uh, task force down here. So what I'm going to do, I think, is rush back, panic rush to Okinawa again. Because um, I really get the feeling uh, that we're going to get invaded over there. We can move our Soryu down a little closer. Move the Taiyo down as well uh, to Iwo Jima for some very late emergency air cover there. Uh, yeah, encounter with Saipan once again. Some more fighters. Where are they coming from? They're going to center of the ocean here. Uh, it would appear this group isn't actually moving, which is a shame. We'll give it some very wide, very, very wide patrols there. Just to uh, see if we can catch whatever comes out of Wake Island, I think. No. We can see more cargo ships out here, but we're about to lose, unfortunately, uh, air, air time. That's okay. We'll remove this note, because we dealt with that, I believe. Oh, and actually, while we can, our truck supplies are over here. So the idea of here is just to unload a little bit of fuel. We've got 100 here, and that is, in fact, it. It's just left over from our Manila groups in the Philippines, I believe. So we'll unload everything there. All good. Uh, I've just gone a little too far on that and redone it there we go excellent so uh that's just just more supplies there just a sit and wait so that we can uh, rearm a little later so we'll send that all the way back to kure and sit idly by waiting for the next resupply i would imagine 
And we're just about to get onto Quest Princessa once again. Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. That's absolutely what we're looking for. And new supplies over here. Can we? I doubt we'll be able to catch up unless it comes directly towards us now. But uh, we should have resupplied some planes over here. And indeed we have. Uh, we don't have any fighter cover because they are out patrolling. Mm. Send out some nails for some high altitude bombing. Considering this might be a cruiser task force. Not the greatest idea to go in without air cover though. Ooh, right on top of them. Right on top of them. We do certainly have a full stock of torpedoes. Let's get him. Give it a go. How about blockade wake kind of with four subs around it? Not necessarily a bad idea, actually. Might just use that task force. Ooh, oh dear. Right on top of them. Um, okay. I think we're a little too late to this. I think we're a little too late to this because we're right on their flank. Right on their flank. That is a real shame. That is a real shame. We should have finished that or got into tactical earlier. You can see our position here. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to fire out on anything here because our torpedoes, while they're fairly quick, we are firing from their stern here. Um, so I think we might just have to get out. We'll dive down. Make a, make a thing of it. Make sure we get out safely. Which is a shame, because that would have been a really, really good opportunity there. Go down to 50. Uh, it's no... Well, there's a thermal layer 47. That's uh, not particularly bad, actually. But they haven't detected us. So what do we actually have here? Uh, we have one Cleveland and two Clevelands. And, of course, the usual, the usual destroyers. Usual destroyers. Benson Gleaves here. Benson Gleaves there. And another there. <laughs> They're not what they wanted in this task force, didn't they? They're not what they wanted. It's all probably the same type of destroyer. Um, so, since they haven't... Haven't seen us. That's the easy way according to the game is... Uh, no perfect personally. Yeah, yeah, integrity, non-abusive strats. Yeah, they are absolutely powerful. And that's the... Um, it really is down to personal taste there. Because... Uh, yeah, I'm on the side that, you know, it's definitely easy, but um, it's what subs are used for. If you're not going to use them for things like that, um, if you're not going to use them for taking on the larger ships by stealth, then there's not a lot of point in using them at all. I don't think they carry um, enough uh, troops and supplies to really, you know, bother scouting too hard with anything, uh, according to with bases. Um, I really think, you know, you do need to use them as uh, they're real purpose is intended there but not to worry try and come out try and scout that out again midway scouts has found something let's have a look having said that though i did put down the rule that these midway scouts won't hit anything uh, they're merely here to scout simply because we are right on top of their main hq um and it's just it, that really is just a little on the line there it's a little bit too on the cheaty side there, to just sit outside their HQ and uh, snipe everything like that. It's got a Fletcher, an Omaha, I think a spot in Atlanta. We have a Porter, another Porter, and we have a Cleveland. So quite a nasty group, actually. Um, I wonder if this... I can't remember exactly what it was from memory um, that beats up our Yamato group previously. It's something along the lines of this composition. But uh, again, I'm going to put the rule down to say this, uh, these these subs aren't actually going to hit anything there. Uh, I've gotten us some more supply ships over here. Going to be a little more complacent on the supply interception um, at the moment. But we can have a look to see if uh, these are worth hitting at the moment. Uh, can we launch any Torios from Kayla? I want at least six. So let's uh, let these Tories come in. Jake's found a enemy's plane. The auto said we can survive that. That's brilliant. Not much point in going in if you know you're going to die. Okay, so we can see some more scouts over here, which suggests they're not actually going towards Okinawa. Um, so what we need to do is actually be far more active with this and send out some Bresens uh, to have a look at that. I don't have a lot of uh, fuel. 
but they got enough for some close range uh, scouting here. I'll just send them out, just send a couple out like that. So we do have other uh, scouts in the area. Um, okay, so I think we're pretty much in uh, position to have a look at this. So I have a cheeky poke. That's what I believe just be two supply ships. See so much of that. There we go. Yeah, just a couple of supply ships. A Cimarron and a British Oiler. That's rather interesting because, of course, Cimarron does have some nasty flak on it. Um, while this one doesn't, it is generally more durable. So... I don't know. I don't know. Uh, not so easy for the Cimarron to attack from the flank there. So we, I think we're just going to go for it. What we're going to do is form up with everyone. Do a very quick strafe onto that Cimarron. Uh, and dive down there. Thank you. Just slow down a tad. Decrease that altitude. Planes can, yeah, yeah, the planes, planes can certainly do the patrolling. It um, doesn't necessarily look very obvious with the symbol it uses on the button, but uh, absolutely they can. Um, unfortunately, there is, I think, a minor bug where sometimes if you load up a saved game, existing patrols don't always carry over, so you need to be careful with that. Um, more often than not, they do uh, absolutely uh, still carry over. It's just uh, sometimes, sometimes they don't, which is, uh, I think, uh, we found some idle subs a second ago outside of Wake Island. I think that's what it was from. We must have had them on a patrol. And it just didn't carry over. So I might as well tell these guys to attack from here. Let themselves adjust. Uh, got a fairly decent speed on there. Tori is absolutely fine for uh, strafing. The problem is, of course, the Cimarron. Um, is rather a standout ship because it does have these nasty flat cannons on it. Come on. But you miss every shot you don't take. <laughs> you know? uh, again, the Cimarron is made of cargo of magazine explosions. Not quite as good as the Patatsko is for us. And there, we're not going to get anything there. But we did get some very nice uh, fires. And it is fairly safe to uh, travel over the British oiler over here. Don't think it even has. We can't see any. There we go. Just about got some very short range uh, small arms there. So we're going to climb up a tad. Get around to the back once again. And see if we can come in for a second strafe perhaps. Because that's not quite going to be enough. I will take a quick report on that. Yeah, heavy's a minor. That's absolutely fine. We'll slow down our speed. I think we will come from a small angle at this time, just so that we can damage some uh, undamaged components here. We'll tell those to go in just now. There we go. Did lose a plane, unfortunately. But it's going to happen once you uh, stay far too long like this in their range. Didn't really get a lot of hits in by the looks of it there. Yeah, another one down. I think we might have to leave that there, tell these guys to uh, return to base, but we will wait around a little bit, increase our altitude, just watch that burn, hopefully because it is covered in fire now, look at that, hopefully that reaches a cargo magazine space. Just joining in, haven't missed a lot, don't need to worry, uh, Orange Blast, haven't missed too much, just shifting around a few resources, this is the, mo this is the first bit of action we've really had. Thank you for joining everyone, it's good to see so many of you here actually. Once again, completely impromptu, so no warning, so thank you very much for putting time aside. Do appreciate it. Mm, it should be looking quite nasty now, still only minor flooding, but I mean, look at all the fires there. It's got to spread. We'll just compress time a tad, because I'm rather impatient. And I am going to try and preserve some Tories, I think. 
Um, we don't use them for a hell of a lot else. But it's always nice to have them in backup. I will bring them back round so we do keep sight. Uh, supply needed for planes is really a good model of the game. Or is it, uh, don't play the vanilla. Um, it's really, really up to you if you think it's good or not. Um, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It does make you think that much more. But um, uh, it's, it's difficult to say. I think it, now that we do have the extra resources available after destroying so many ships, um, it's certainly much more manageable. Uh, but because there's so many bases to take, they still get stretched so, so thin. So, so thin. And I think what I'm going to do is just compress time a tad. Uh, it's going to be a tad stale to watch. Did you get a nice little explosion there? Suggests uh, something else might be happening there. Fires are spreading and doing their job. Let's bring back round so that we can uh, keep some sight there. Um, it might be the case, actually. Do we tempt it? Do we risk it? It might be the case that the guns are inoperable, hopefully, from that explosion. We'll probably come round to the flank and have a look. Just to encourage it to go down a bit there. Make another report. So, yeah, critical damage and heavy flooding now. So, it will be going down uh, to this. Just a matter of time. Yeah, of course, it's, it is certainly the same for reality, absolutely, and that is the point of the mod, um, just to give you that much more depth and really think about it. Um, and that's really what this game is about, absolutely. It says a much more uh, realistic style strategy game. A um, little closer on the um, simulation side, isn't it? Um, as are a lot of games uh, from this uh, developer. Can you do a surface battle? I will certainly try to. I am actually pursuing uh, a convoy with my Congo task force. This is the problem though, where they, they're bloody, they're cowardly. They're cowardly, and then they disappear. I'd be doing surface engagements most days if, <laughs> if I had my way. I really would. Um, although I do try and avoid them if I do feel I can't win them, as you should. Um, the, the thing is there, it's just, uh, they don't always present themselves on a plate how I'd like them to. And that's part of the challenge, it's absolutely part of the challenge. Alright, we'll just tickle this to encourage it to go down a bit. Actually taking more fire from the, uh, surf uh, from the uh, small arms here, so that suggests that um, actually the flak, uh, apart from the uh, bow uh, flak there, we just just saw go go off, is inactive. I'll just keep a single Torio about. Don't need all of them here. This guy's thinking about colliding, I think. Ramming his friend. This might get scuppered, actually. Might get scuttled if we retreat. But it's so close to really sinking. Uh, we've been here long enough. <laughs> there we go. That's all we're waiting for. And it is sink if you look at the uh, bottom there. And that will do for me. No need to stay and watch that. We do want to get on to more interesting stuff in this stream, I think, if possible. So, uh, yeah, Enigma, what we're looking for is um, these scouts over here um, are coming from, I believe, a Northampton-led task force. Um, and I think a Cleveland, maybe a, a British light cruiser as well. So we're trying to scout that out. Um, but we thought we did lose sight of it completely. It's been generally in this area. So I, I moved my supply interceptors uh, as a rush to Okinawa in case uh, we can't get that. Uh, this is going to resupply, isn't it? So which one is this? Minor resupplies coming back home, is it? Got what I was doing with that. So going to Puerto Princesa. Going with minor resupply two. Mm, so a little bit of supplies, but the fuel and engineering is going to Hong Kong. Uh, and then we're going to look at upgrading to a level one airfield there. I'm just getting range here. 
Aha, there we go. All right, so I am going to ignore that and I'm going to mark that up again so that we can keep sight on there. And that will mean we can send out another racing over here just to track that more permanently. So where is that going? It is going more northeast, isn't it? Encounter in Saipan. There's like some random planes, very random planes. Comes from Davao. Um, I doubt they're going to try and doubt they're going to try and uh, invade. No, they are ignoring us. I don't think it's worth going with three zeros there. Now we should just be about in range to drop off over here. We'll just get a little closer uh, because you need to get closer than you think on this map because it is so large. There we go. So, uh, Press Princessa, what do we need? We need uh, supplies, really. And that is what this group has. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of supplies. I did originally put them on here um, to go for helping our invasions out. Uh, so we'll have one, two, three, four, 4,200 left after this. Uh, tell you what, we'll go to Press Princessa, upgrade that to a level three. Three insufficient resources. What am I missing? I missed the engineering and fuel. Very easy. It's just threes. Don't have the uh, three engineering, three hundred engineering and fuel there. So that's absolutely fine. Uh, what we'll do is we will take these supplies and we will reinforce. I think Del Monte is what's particularly lacking over here. Uh, and yes, certainly is um, one point two thousand supplies to 6.6 thousand troops, really not good. You can see the ratio there, absolutely abysmal. So we'll dump a load of supplies there, and that will be okay, not quite enough to defend it, but um, I think what we're gonna do is take those off very soon, actually. Where do we go now? Got a lot of troops here. Um, do have a lot of troops here, actually, don't we? I think we're going to change our plan, go directly down with our invasion support, um, with the Zwiho there, of course, so that we can uh, very slowly shift our troops and supplies onto Tawi Tawi. Um, I would like to take Bruno. In fact, that does have a level 3 airfield there. I think Tawi Tawi would be easier to take with the uh, resources we have at the moment, so we'll go for that. Stick to the plan there. Um, and that'll be an extra extra base for us there. Uh, we have been resupplied. Just got our AC, hang on, AC command points from weekly. Is that what we're guessing? Getting 77 apparently. So I don't know where the AC's come from. Must be a dockyard ship. Yeah, I think it was because we did have four uh, destroyers there. So that means we do now have access to more supplies and such, which means our um, idle ships over here can actually start to take advantage of that. Are we in range to pick up? No, we're not. It's absolutely fine. There we go. All right, so what do we actually want to take on uh, this task force here? Um, hmm, Kokuryu Maros. I think we take supplies, really, don't we? Absolutely take supplies, because that's what we're mostly lacking. Absolutely what we're going to burn through very quickly. And uh, we're going to run down as much as we can there. We will take a few troops on our destroy escorts. And this will come straight down to the Philippines there and help out with the uh, oncoming invasion. That will take a long time to get to though. What ships do I want to get with my command points? Uh, this is the problem. I'm sort of running out of ships to get. Um, if we look um, at Kure, Ghosting UC, just to make things a little more visual. Um, so we can get a lot of Kaidai's, we can get a lot of the um, submarines out still. Um, unfortunately, the Type B Mob 1s, we have to wait until the 31st July, 43. Uh, we have to wait until 44 for the I-400. A few people have asked to see that. It is quite a long wait. We do still have a lot of uh, destroyers to pull from, but we don't necessarily need them just yet. Uh, Shimakaze would be nice, but another 43 weights. Uh, we're getting through a lot of our uh, light cruisers. It might be worth, actually, some people suggested uh, building up a, perhaps a light cruiser and destroyer force and sending them out to scouts out to measure up how much uh, 
troops and supplies are defending these bases down here. That might not be a bad idea the next time we do get access to uh, troops and such. I might could do that now. We could do that now. Have a lot to pull from. Have lots of supply uh, command points to pull from. Uh, but otherwise, um, the CAs we've got left are uh, both for attackers, both Albers. Uh, I think we're using. Oh, we've still got the Ashigata from the Miyokos to pull from. Uh, but this is the thing, I'm using pretty much all of our uh, heavy ships here. We do have the Mogami Mikima um, still waiting to come out. So we're using both Tones. Uh, BBs, we're of course using most of the Congos. We only have the Harana left. Hmm. We can have a second Fuso and a second Issei. What I'm really waiting for, personally, is actually um, the Hiyos. And I will double check uh, when we get access to those. Yeah, 31st of July, 42, because they're very cost effective. Um, they'll have changed the cost, so I can't remember what they are now, but there were 80 command points at one point uh, for a lot of attack aircraft and a very substantial amount of fighter support. Very, very good aircraft carriers. Suggest trying to take uh, the other ports in French Indochina. Yeah, um, I will probably take Saigon at one point. I did actually have control of this uh, at one point because it was a neutral base. We did take uh, Haiphong and uh, Saigon right at the start of the game um, just to boost us up for CP. I think what we're going to do though is actually I think it's a nice idea to get right on top of making that very fast uh, scousing uh, force. We're going to stay away from the Tenrus because I don't like them. Uh, we're going to get, I think, think actually two Nagaras. Uh, let's go for a Tenryu. Let's give them some love. So that will give us uh, 900, 1100. Use both Tenryus there and we'll get some fairly cheapy destroyers. How many hats I have? Is it going through the hats I had? Um, have a couple stats use. It's mostly for uh, submarine protection now. Could give them a Akazuki for air radar. And I like to go for a minimum of one, two, three. I like to go for a minimum of four. So we'll go for an Asashio as well. Get a nice little mix there because we are running out of uh, destroy escorts. So what we're going to do is load these up with um, troops. That will mean should have about 1200 there now, so we'll get a few more there, we'll get a few supplies just to back them up a tad, and what we'll do is we will scout out we can scout out French Indochina now, we can scout out Saigon see what that's looking like, and go straight in there so, uh, what else is on the agenda, just carrying on and getting this really I think and this is where I usually add, uh, edit this out and say goodbye, I'll, I'll see you in a second because not much is going to happen in this uh, list wins you lose can see some torpedo bombers. We're going to have to follow them. That's very interesting. We have some reinforcing destroyers over here for task force, uh, our fighting force over here, I believe. Uh, yeah, very, very nice indeed. That would be a rather nasty group once again. But we're going to send out some aircraft here to follow out those... Uh, Avengers. We'll send them out in a group of six there in case we do catch up and want to shoot them down. This uh, submarine is now idling. Don't like that. I don't like idle uh, ships. Even if it's just a quick patrol like that, it can't idle. These are the ones we just sent out. Lost sight already. Just a uh, quick, just a quickie over here. Gotta love a quickie when you can, if you can find the time. Remove this note because there's nothing there anymore. All right, so what do we have left on Kude? Do still have some troops, engineering and fuel. So what do we have over here? Well, we use that to actually re rearm the Masashi group, I think, and we'll rearm that sub as well. Countering devouls, the same thing again. Yeah, so that's interesting. Must be from <laughs> Tapu Tawi Khan just launched some uh, torpedo bombers out in a straight line like that. That's what really 
That's what really confuses me here. Um, is this in range to rearm? Yep, yeah, brilliant. Okay, so we'll bring that down. I think I'd like to bring it over here to the south of the Philippines. Do we move the Masashi up? It's just going for it. Counter and truck. Uh, ooh, I don't think that's a CV. Um, oh, it's too late to launch any aircraft. I don't think that's a CV. I think that is just two, uh, two supply ships there. It's got to be. It's getting very close there. Getting very, very close indeed. Alright, so we'll do this properly, unlike the previous uh, sub engagement we had today. It's just, just too quick for us. There we go, that'll do. Alright, so I apologise for not seeing anything, but it is rather late. <laughs> Quarter to midnight. Uh, we will raise our scope and what we've we got. Yeah, it is just two uh, cargo ships of a Tapsco and. Uh, C2 or Haskell, do you think? Does AI relocate its troops? I'm not entirely sure, actually. Um, in terms of uh, relocating pre-existing defences, I don't think it does, from what I've seen. Um, it will, from what I've seen, of course... Um, move fresh troops from its home ports to um, to defend. It absolutely does that. Uh, but in terms of uh, pre-existing uh, defense, I'm not entirely sure that it does. Uh, is this worth going for is a question with our torpedoes. Because the solution is going to be absolutely terrible. We are, we can actually surface because we're over four and a half kilometers away and we might be able to get a tad closer because of course they won't have sonar um if we look at our own ship here um it's on sensors and armor um visibility is 30 percent at max anyway from the looks of it um and it's very very minimal it's eight kilometers it's a maximum if everything's perfect but we have 30% uh, visibility at the moment. They don't have sonar. We might be able to get right at the top. And the thing is, uh, they will beat us in a gunfight, I believe. Uh, with the, yeah, the, you can just about see the two uh, cannons on the uh, bow there. Just trying to, yeah, they do have two on the rear as well. They do outgun us. And um, a little more durable than us to uh, gunfight. Do I plan on attacking Midway? Um, I haven't planned for it just yet, I'm afraid. Um, the thing is, this is a home port, and if the rule stands from the base game, you can't actually successfully invade home ports, uh, unfortunately. I don't know why. You can bombard them. You can bombard them down to uh, zero and zero, but you can't successfully invade home ports from uh, at least in the base game. Yeah, it absolutely does uh, just know where your planes are, despite being in radar range or not. Um, but I think it does need that, in a way. I think it does need it. Um, okay, so we're coming up to just under five kilometers. Our solution... Not great. Solution's not great. I guess a tad closer. Uh, and for that, we will go to periscope depth. It will take some time to uh, dive down. There we go. Come on. Come on. Dive down. You can do it. You can do it. If this... Uh... <laughs> This had sonar, it would definitely have detected us by now. There we go. Right, so the solution is not great, even though we've just we've lost contact with them as well. What was the bearing? 75. Uh, we'll look towards that ish. Get the scope up. Some nasty clipping down there, isn't it? So we can just about see them. So we should turn in to uh, get our bow towards them.
And there we go, we can... There we go, just pick them up once again. Don't need to turn so much now into them like that. That's a very strange angle. I don't think it's going to be worth it, to be honest. Really don't think it's going to be worth it. We could just come back later on with some uh, planes. It's what 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 gets on my nerves is uh, it's nice to see so many um, uh, convoys like this, where it's just a couple ships um, going about their business, but they're so inactive. You, they never try to land on your bases. They don't seem to land on their own either. Just uh, up and down, sort of empty um, cargo uh, ships here. Not doing not doing too much. So once he gets to um, the 300 ships sunk with the Japanese, it can be very complacent with the cargo ships. It's just uh, an annoyance. Uh, but having said that, we're at 52 degrees solution. I don't think it's going to get much better. Um, I think what we should do is go for a 2 degree spread and just fire out, to be honest. Um, having said that, we'll wait for the uh, lead to get a little uh, tighter. So as you can't hit the port and take it, as was well, it would absolutely be a great idea, honestly. Um, it would be probably a very nice move. I, I would really like to do that quite early on, um, if it were, if it would uh, be at all successful, you know, um, if there are any points to it, because that opens up the uh, risk and reward strategy of that, doesn't it? So first time watching me live, thank you very much. Do appreciate it. It's uh, one of the few times I have gone live. I do plan on uh, going back uh, to the US campaign um, live at some point. Okay, we can uh, do that. Uh, we can dive down, scope down on that. It doesn't really matter a lot when they can't hunt us back. So they're actually look, looking not too bad. Might just... I think we're going to miss with the, with the these back two. Get rid of the UI there. There we go. Oh, oh it doesn't matter if we do miss. That was a magazine explosion. Ideal. Absolutely ideal. So it was worth it in the end. The patient hunter gets the prey, doesn't it? I do hope uh, it's not too annoying having a slightly more echoey voice from me. Uh, it's, it's in the back of my mind, it's rather annoying. Um, so it's not... There we go, now it's sinking. Now it's sinking. Um, ooh, the Tapsco doesn't... <sighs> you wanted a surface engagement, you're going to get a surface engagement. <laughs> this is your surface engagement. Um... Yeah, it's a little, a little uh, annoying. It's a bit echoey, but we'll just take time uh, getting some furniture, proper furniture in. Just uh, desperate to get back after what three weeks off today, I think it was. All right, so uh, let's hold out, try and catch up with it. It's going at thirteen knots. We'll just uh, go alongside it. Um, rather interesting to have the. Uh, artillery gun at the rear of the Japanese subs there. Just means you do have to position yourself just that much better to get a firing arc on there. Uh, we've got a hundred shots so uh, I don't want to uh, just waste them too much. Mm, having said that, we are very very close. Let's try a uh, very quick over here. Uh, do we have star shells? We don't. Uh, wishful thinking, but... Uh, there we go. This is probably the slowest uh, surf's engagement. <laughs> We even missed that shot. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Um, what I'll do is I'm trying to aim for the center of the ship here. Um, because the Tapscos, as I'm sure you're all aware, are absolutely made of cargo magazine explosions. And if you can hit them in the center, once they start popping, they don't stop. 
but uh, one gun might uh, might really slow us down here. Just going to keep an eye on our position as well, so we don't get too far away. That bloody mist, isn't it? Ruddy bloody mist. Mm, give it a little bit more lead because we're getting a little further away as well, aren't we? There we go. Look at that. Sounds fine to you. Brilliant, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Um, let's get over here. There we go. Look at that. Oh, really getting it down now. Look at that fire. Look at that. So that will light up the night sky very nice. Very nicely indeed. Can we... Look at that. Ideal. Absolutely ideal. Uh, still moving though, still going at 13 knots. Still moving. That was a nice little hit there. Just keep up like that. Oh, that one missed. Might be worth actually going for the rear of the ship and we can slow down a tad. Um, just so that we can spread out the damage a tad. So we'll aim a little further back this time. Uh, although that's not really done too much. We can aim a little further back again, I think. Actually missed. Uh, if we come out over here, I think. Yeah, it's getting there. It is slowing down. By one knot. I was actually looking. Heavy to heavy. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. <laughs> Ah, for the glory of the Empire. <laughs> it's very tempting to fire at a single torpedo at this, but it's just a waste. Just a waste. There we go, it is sunk though. No big boom, no uh, sister, no uh, magazine popping today. We'll take it. How many shots did that take? Down at 85. Fair enough. I took 25 shots. Look at that. Well, not 25. I can't count. But uh, there we go. All right. Lovely. So uh, that was that was worth a while. <laughs> Presume the usual patrol, please. Thank you. Uh, just making sure everything is moving around here. Pull the CVs back a tad. Uh, engineering is coming back. Got some uh, destroyers coming back to Yamato Task Force, and uh, we'll rename that. Uh, as and when. So, what we're doing over here, let's not waste these nighttime hours, shall we? Let's push right on top of Tawi Tawi and get the invasion supplies down as well. So, um, we don't need to actually. What we'll do, I think, is we'll dump off our remaining supplies over here. This is only a couple thousand. Actually, no, it's one, two, three. Yeah, okay, there's a fair amount actually. Yeah, so, we'll dump off our supplies here. And then we'll come back for more supplies and troops in a second. Another another possible invasion force there, actually. Uh, a roof should fly over that. There we go. Just it's this one, isn't it? Just double check this isn't uh, too massive. There we go. Uh, just a couple ships. Once again, Batapsco and another Batapsco. Absolutely fine. Don't need to worry, I'm afraid. Got a bigger fish to fry, and I want to make some real progress today. If we go, keep going back to the fours, it's not going to happen. So rearm this group. Uh, we do need some destroyers, and we did get some destroyers out of the dockyard. Uh, so we're going to fill those back up as well. We go back to Kure, and you see, very easy. And I think we'll uh, upgrade it by giving it uh, at least a single Wakazuki. Uh, it did have a Fubuki, I'll give it two. Uh, do we have any? We'll give it an Akatsuki because I like Akatsukis and we'll give it an Akazuki there. Um, do you want to give it four or five? I think we'll give it five and we'll go for, I think it had a Yugamo in there as well. So do that. Merge groups. Like that. Brilliant. Okay, so we gave it too many because I didn't count. Uh, so the Shidayuki 
Do you want to send that back out somewhere? Do you want to give it to an escort? Um, it's not always entirely worth it, to be honest. Is there anything else it can particularly escort? Minor resupplies over here. Let's uh, unload all cargo. Needs to be a bit closer. You see what I mean? We're right on top of that. We still need to be closer. Um, I think the Shadu can just go back, to be honest. We'll, we'll save that for a rainy day. Alright, so we'll just keep an eye on this. Gets a little closer. Task Force 77. Ooh, alright. Had no idea this was about. Where are they? Ah, oh, excellent. So we are actually in position now. Is this what we saw earlier? I think it is. It absolutely is. So we're definitely going to go for a Cleveland if possible. Uh, always needs to get rid of as many Clevelands if... Needs to learn to speak before you uh, try and attack the ships is what you need to do. Stop getting so excited. Is there anything else really worth going for? We could try and go for the number two Cleveland. But uh, we'll go for the number three. Make that our priority target. Um, does this all the time. There we go. Alright, so... Uh, how close are they going to be to us? I think it's probably worth actually reversing um, for a little bit. Just so we do get a bit of distance between us and them. And I will catch up. Give me a chance. Brilliant stuff. I don't want to turn like that. Don't want to turn. So this was uh, the uh, the task force with all Benson Gleaves, wasn't it? Yeah, they're all the same apart from this Sims. All right. All right. Okay, so with 4.8 kilometers in closing, let's get some torpedoes ready. We'll fire out four us each because that's easy. One degree spread should do it because we're so close. Um, want to get a bit of distance, um, not only so that we have a decent angle, but so that the torpedoes can actually activate once they're fired. Uh, because otherwise uh, there'll be duds or we'll just pass through. You made it to a live stream. You certainly have. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see so, so many people. Uh, I do stream other stuff on Twitch every now and then, as I feel like it, and it's a much different experience, but I've got the base here. And I do really appreciate seeing you guys here, especially since you've got to take so much time out of your day uh, to do this. You never know if it's going to be worth it. Take a sip of my drink. So, alright, let's get our scopes up. Everybody wave to the enemy ships there. And I think we're going to actually fire out with this group. Although, we only have a 50-ish solution here. That is terrible. What is the visibility? 36? Alright. Well, tell you what. We'll fire 5. Go for a 2 degree. Um, decent lead at 20. Let's not go manual because I will miss. Uh, probably should have fired out a little earlier here. But considering that our solution is terrible, um, that probably wouldn't have made much difference. So give this some time to travel, but not so much time that our torpedoes from this uh, ship can't catch up. Uh, we'll move out like this. Go at... Uh, give it three knots. Get how quick our torpedoes travel. Uh, 46 knots. We're going to have to fire out now, I think. going to have to fire out now. Just look at that. That's just... Gas chase them. The number three was our priority. Whether it's a waste or not, we'll see. We will see. Alright, so scope can come down. We'll dive down to uh, 50. Uh, I'll just double check, actually. Um, test depth is 100, so we'll go down to 60. And we'll move out like that. You see, we've got to got the torpedoes chasing. That's the worst possible uh, solution there. The worst possible solution. There's a test set with this one. Is it the same? Yeah, it's the same type of ship. So we can go down to uh, 60 with this as well. No layer to hide under because the sea state's just uh, too high and it's uh, not the right conditions. Two 
Twitch and you don't get along. I'm sad to hear that. I hope it's nothing too bad. It's always a very interesting front page on Twitch. I don't know how it gets the recommendations. So I'm actually feeling a little hopeful about these uh, torpedoes now. They're looking on the decent line. It's just whether they're quick enough to really catch up there. These ones aren't necessarily looking bad either, to be honest. Uh, Mysa wants a little bit more lead onto the number two. You can see they have, of course, uh, passed over the uh, number three there. Um, which is brilliant, because that means uh, the second group would have been wasted. Never look. We'll take away the UI. Take away the UI. Give it a little more uh, suspense. They're not looking too bad, actually. It's just a waiting game. Oh, that's not looking bad. That's not looking bad. Not looking bad. We we'll get a couple, I reckon. Just about. Oh, that'll do it. Was that three? Was that three hits? That absolutely was three hits. Oh, all spread out as well. Look at that damage. That is absolutely disgusting. Now, this is one problem I got with destroyers, is they basically know exactly where you are anyway. So we'll see if we get hit. They're not turning too ferociously to us at the moment. Now that one is sunk. Excellent. Now, it's just a case of uh, how quickly this one's going to turn out. But uh, I've not got any high hopes for these anymore because uh, this Cleveland does have the uh, the warning now and it is manoeuvring away. So these uh, torpedoes are probably going to miss. So we're going to see if these destroyers actually uh, know where we are. So we're going to stay quiet and listen out for sonar pings. I can't hear any. That's a good sign. Uh, we're not cavitating here, but we're cavitating rather a lot here. I think, does four stop at this depth? It absolutely does. So that's something to help us out. So we'll give that a little bit of time, let these torpedoes travel. Don't look like they get a hit now. Absolutely fine. One Cleveland down. Uh, oh, how many more have they got? That's got to be a lot of losser. Yeah, we've got one, two, three, four, five. That's about it. That's about it. So they still have quite a few left. Uh, these destroyers, I don't think they know where we are. If they did, they'd absolutely be turning directly to us, wouldn't they? So this comes down now to uh, what do you think is too cheesy? Do you think uh, since they don't know where we are, you know, do we give them time to find us and let them hiss us? <laughs> or just, I think what we do is just turn out, um, turn out to them, show them our rear, and then we can call it there. Turning might alert them though. Yeah, it looks like this uh, destroyer has gone off sights. Might have been alerted to us now. Um, in fact, we're not actually going silent, which is rather a mistake. We will stop turning now. Reduce our speed as well. And I think we'll do the same with this one. Let's go down to three here. Although that destroyer is coming for us now. It absolutely knows we're here, doesn't it? Let's listen out for more sonar things. You can't hear any just yet. I would imagine that's within two kilometers, but we can't target it because it's not on the map, so we can't find out. And while we're not doing too much, uh, while I just remember, um, everyone, um, everyone head over. If I remember at the uh, end of the stream, I'll put a link uh, either in the description um, or as a comment, um, the Iron Bottom Sound first episode has been out for a few weeks now, actually. That's the uh, documentary series on YouTube put together um, by Zwikaku, uh, a good friend of ours. Uh, I'm narrating it. Wolfpack is voicing some Americans in it. So he's done a very good job on them, as you would expect. And uh, Drakinafel has done a lot of the research. 
So uh, go ahead, I'll, I'll post a link in uh, when I can. Uh, I might be able to uh, send it, so let's see. Let's have a quick look, for those that are interested. Uh, give me two seconds. Put it in the chat if I can. I'm not send that. Come on. There we go. Lovely stuff. So uh, that's going to be uh, coming up as and when we're all available. I think uh, everyone has done a bloody good job, actually, on that. I think these destroyers are going to get us now. Look at that. This is the thing, it's very interesting, this game. As you can hear the sonar pings now instantly. Um, it really comes down to how bad you feel about just uh, quitting out of this battle. So uh, what could happen now is that I could quit out right now and our destroyers would be, our submarines would be safe. Or I could carry on and just feed our subs to uh, the enemy there. That's what it comes down to. Because once they know where you are, once they know, they will get you. Uh, uh, stay silent here. I think, is this one actually dropping at the moment? Is there any, can we see? He's not dropping. I think he's getting contact while this one comes in at the moment because we uh, moved away so speedily. In fact, what we could do is just uh, run away again, turn to port quite solidly and try and go out. Hmm. In a pickle here. Quite the pickle. Left it too long. Should have just come straight out. Zoom ahead, there's not a lot more we can do at the moment. Just try and get out of direct, of the direct line of uh, these incoming depth charges. Yeah, he's, he's coming in. He's coming in. He knows what he wants. If we dive down a little harder there. Go down to 90. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, right on the propeller and rudder there. That was a direct hit. Yeah, this we're going to lose this one. Every bloody time, isn't it? They come in. Hmm. <laughs> So we're on critical flooding now, we will flood out with that. I think they've just uh, avoided a collision there. No, we'll let this, we'll let this one uh, sink and then we'll, uh, we'll retreat out, I think. Look at that, look at that list. Turn there. It's like we're reaching for the surface, just can't quite make it. But there you go, eye for an eye. Got the uh, got the Cleveland, but we will lose the sub in return, and that is not necessarily a fair trade. So that was uh, just here. Uh, that's something to keep an eye on. Could go in with our invasion support here, but um, I want to keep the Zuiho about ready for uh, an air attack. Hmm. What we could do... What I could do... That'd uh, be very spicy. And... Split that. Go straight over with our main attack ships. And uh, leave the Zuiho here for um, air cover and make sure the destroyers are here to protect the Zuiho. Might be a, might be a decent idea there. And then we really can have a proper service engagement. So there we go. As we thought, 
Just double check the, uh, yeah, that's going to be a bit shit on uh, our position there now. But not to worry, we'll just need to make sure that we do remember to, uh, uh, not unmanaged cargo, launch aircraft there. Okay, so do we actually have access to air radar? We'll see in a second. Uh, just make sure all of these are off fire at will. So if we destroy these planes, that will mean, of course, everyone's that much safer. Um, I don't think we do have air radar, do we, on any of these destroyers? We do not. Which means we need to get our zeros out in all directions. Especially on our flanks. Send a few out, like so. And what we'll do is we'll go back to Zwiho and our ships, and we'll get them to lay smoke. And I think just slow down a tad for the minute so that the smoke can envelop us that much better. Place your bets though on where they're going to come from. I would say southwards, just because that's where they were on the strategic map. There we go. Alright, so what do we have? We have some. Uh, okay, Beauforts. Interesting choice. That should have dived down to begin with, though, because we did know it was uh, torpedo planes coming in. Not to worry, though. We'll, we'll circle around and get on the backs. And zoom in with this group over here as well. And we will start to target over here, uh, just so that we're ready once uh, we have dived down. We do the same with this group, of course. Now we do have a second squadron coming in. Same place? Absolutely. So let's once again tell everyone to come down. Yeah, another squadron, but this is bombers. Oh, absolutely brilliant. We've got some Sunderlands coming in. Mm, not feeling great about this now. Let's uh, increase our speed. Might have to get these zeros actually on the backs of these and tell them to go straight in. Get these zeros around as well. Get some of the Sunderlands, I think. Uh, these zeros aren't going to make it to the Beaufort, so we'll climb those up. There we go. Okay, so let's turn in and attack already, I think, with this group. Uh, just need to change that again because we just gave the attack order with the lead plane there. A bit silly. Oh, I let it die because uh, some people think it is rather, rather cheesy just uh, to just uh, retreat out. It's a fine line sometimes, knowing whether to uh, just retreat out uh, and say, look, no, fuck it, I'm not not uh, letting that happen. This is the thing, it's uh, it's a weird way this game works, there's not really any counterplay uh, once the destroyers know where you are, but that's how it should be. So we got rid of the uh, torpedo planes, which is great. It's only two planes in that squadron, is that? Okay, interesting, that's not going to be enough for the Sunderlands then. Not going to be enough for the Sunderlands, but we are already moving to engage them here. Excellent. Will that be enough though? We'll be able to get there in time to down at least one or two of these. Should be able to, they're fairly slow. But they do have, as you can see, a fair amount of protective uh, gunnery there. Yeah, just uh, not quite climbing in time there. What ship are they going for? We're going to have to increase our speed and start manoeuvring. It's difficult to tell. Certainly going for a destroyer over here. If we move out like the last attack. Uh, like so. Let's get this Weho. That can slow down a tad. Hatsushima can do the same as well. But I think... Did I read that's everything? I do believe it is. I do believe that is everything. Let's just take a report before we come out. That is 9 out of 9. There we go. Excellent. Alright, so what we'll do is this now still invasion support. So we get the zeros, keep them out, um, bring them to invasion support. If I can find it. There we go. Make sure they're keeping in line with that. So we'll sit and wait for any more uh, attack aircraft because there will be more. We can see uh, the scouts coming out now. 
What is this? We should definitely scout this out because we don't know what this is. Don't know exactly what this is actually. County? Cleveland? Okay. Not the worst. Load of destroyers, of course. We'll mark that one up. Mark that as a cruiser, of course. Uh, where are we? There we go. And you know what's fairly close is Guam Defence. So we'll come out over here. I'd imagine that's going to come northwards. Imagine that's coming northwards. Are we in range for Hong Kong, finally? Let's unload all cargo. And there we go. Lovely. Does it in tens now. Quite convenient. Very, very convenient. Um, Sashi, did we rearm that? Just double check. There we go. All ships rearmed. Just make sure that's all gone through fine. Excellent stuff. So, let's come back out and come back, I think, around Iwo Jima for that, as we were originally. Invasion uh, supplies are coming under attack here. That's rather interesting. We're on a line ahead at the moment. What we'll do is just change that to, I think, a convoy to begin with. Uh, and we'll make sure the destroyers, if possible, are on the outsides. Mm, that's how I want them, actually. We'll go for a battle line, just to make things a little easier there. Um, so, one, two, four. One, two, three, four at the back. That should be fine. Begin that. The problem here, again, is we don't have any air radar. So, we're just going to have to uh, take things as they come. There we go, what have we got? So, a couple of wildcats, light bombs, of course. Uh, we're going to instantly start moving around with our ships here. It looks like they're going for the number four Kurohime. Have they dropped already? They have. They're very quick on that. It's very, very quick on that. I don't think we're going to dodge this uh, at all. Let's go to the number four. Yep, yeah, there we go. But they are only light bombs, so nothing too nasty there. I don't want to wager that those are the only uh, planes there. What speed are we going with these? Let's go with max speed. Can I assemble a task force of 20 destroyers? Uh, not exactly. You can only have 10 ships per task force. Um, so I could do a task force of 10 and back it up with some reinforcements. Not entirely sure uh, why I'd do that. Um, so I know I know where uh, that would only really be worth it if there were if I knew there were huge um, task forces of uh, just cargo ships really and other destroyers. Generally, things uh, they're backed up by uh, light cruisers at least and uh, maybe a CVL um, if they're thinking quite hefty. I think that might be it though. Said it was it. All right, interesting one. Might want to move our zeros over here. Uh, let's see, let's see, because we're getting the scouts coming in, aren't we? That's uh, the one we just looked at. I think we've sort of just missed that with these uh, interceptors over here. Yeah, they're coming. Not too sure what they want to do, are they? Could re-engage this. Uh, not so worried at the moment. We'll just see where that's going. So it is retreating there. And evasion support does have more torpedo bombers. We absolutely need to deal with this. So, once again. What we'll do is take off fire at will. And we will scout out once again. And because we know some of the torpedo bombers, we're not going to make the same mistake as last time. And we are going to go down um, to meet them already. That's 20 meters. Uh, just come around here. Uh, you can come round here to our flank. I think we should come up here with this group. Just, I think we could keep this group um, at a decent altitude, just in case there are more level bombers coming in. They're just a bun, fair enough. But to be honest, we're at that point now where, um, you know, the enemy can't send anything too monstrous at us. Uh, which is uh, which is a shame. We have destroyed most of their battleships, heavy cruisers. 
Um, the only things that come out now are the late, really late tier ships, which are still under time lock, like uh, I was Montana's, uh, the super carriers. Um, that having said that, we still haven't seen the fleet carriers. I've seen one Lexington this whole whole game. There we go. Right, so I've got more bow boats. All right, what we'll do? Just tell this group to attack very quickly. This is the power of uh, air radar. We'd have known that was coming in so much earlier if we had air radar. That's another group coming in, of course. Send this group in. Uh, attack that. Thank you. They already dived down, of course. Might have wanted to tell this group to uh, go on their stern, their flank first. That's okay. Another group. Another group. Or was it just the one? Okay. I'd imagine these are from Brune because that does uh, have the uh, decent airfield there. We're gonna have to turn into this. Might even be going, of course, for Zwiha, so that's rather nasty. Mm -hmm. Planes not doing their jobs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're definitely going for Zwiha. Look at that. Slow down a tab just to put them off. That's the first flight done. Looks like uh, we've got torpedoes incoming for Hatsushimo here. Hatsushimo. Uh, looks like they'll be fine though. We'll just slow down and try not to turn into them, of course. And uh, that one's going to miss, but we need to zoom on ahead again because, of course, these torpedoes will have some range to hit our Zuiho. Just trying to watch the line there. Uh, what we can do is bring this out and see what's going on there. So it doesn't look like they'll hit, but we do now have another torpedo just here if you look at the map. I wish I had a uh, like a soundboard so I could uh, do torpedo beats. That'd be brilliant. Uh, Fuki's coming in to get hit by stuff. Let's not do that. That's because things are following the Zuiho. Where are those other torpedoes? We should be fine there, so we're going to slow down. Very, very slow indeed. And just got this one bow foot to destroy, and I will, of course, pursue that. Absolutely got to pursue that. Go to max speed. And there we go. Zuiho is uh, certainly the most maneuverable ship then. <laughs> Okay, so none of these torpedoes are going to hit. We can see they've gone past us. Take a report. That's uh, all nine enemy planes down, so we can just leave again. All right, so we know where those ships are. Are we actually going to catch up with them? How long is it going to take? Ten hours to get over there. Not entirely convinced that uh, we are going to catch up with them, to be honest. We'll move up. Let's have a look in case they do decide to come back down, but it looks like they're going away, doesn't it? There's the two Patapsco spotted by the roof there. It will come back and regroup with Avenger Support. We'll re make that a, yeah, that's a full group there. Avenger Supplies again with some fighters. Not a particularly uh, high level airfield either, this, so uh, they're really spitting them up, but they do have a uh, group of uh, airfields there, don't they? Okay, there's not a lot we can do. Just sit and wait. Uh, I think I'll turn one way just to get some sort of maneuvers going. Ooh! I don't think. Hmm. Well, we're not allowed to compress time anymore, and we can't see anything. That's worrying. That's very worrying. Okay, it is still the air. Um, still the aircraft. I was very worried it'd be a submarine then, simply because there was no sign of aircraft, and we we're like, nope, nope, something's attacking you. So that's going for the Taiye over here. Going to get hit. Quite likely to get sunk. I think. Uh, what are these? Warhawks or Kissy Hawks? They, yeah, either Kissy Hawks. They get uh, slightly greater bombs than the Wildcats do. I think they get 500. Uh, Grams there, but they did miss. 500 pounders, I believe, they get measured in actually. Very lucky they missed that actually. Very, very lucky indeed. I don't think that's because of our maneuvers either. That's just uh, just a bad aim and uh, some unlucky, unlucky shots there. Not much more we can do though. Don't have anything to pursue them. 
small arms here isn't going to do anything. You can see that uh, one of them's uh, smoking. Some fast paced action here today. I think what we do is we pull back uh, Zwee Herbert. And might be an idea. We do have quite a few. We do have still quite a bit of fuel left, so we won't pull them back just yet. Just make sure the uh, zeros might be in range of invasion support. There we go. There we go. Lovely stuff. Alright, so what we'll do is just take the zeros off a of fire at will quickly. And once again, get some smoke up. Always helps. Don't have any radars, but we'll, we'll turn them on anyway. That's sonar. Um, I didn't see what was uh, going after us, but I don't think it will be... I don't think it will be uh, torpedoes anymore. There we go. Off we got them. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. That's a lot of bombs on these. Alright, see? That's a new one. That's very, very nice new one, actually. That's uh, in a front attack. That could give us a run for our money there. Could give us a run for our money, but we're going to have to. We're going to have to come from the front here. Send uh, two squadrons over, because the other two are sort of position to deal with this. Uh, actually, are they completely mispositioned? We'll find out. They're going to take the dog bites anyway. Yeah, there's more. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll actually uh, give this group some more orders. That's five and six and such. We'll just give this uh, more orders to come out and spread out. And if we are going to dogfight, we'll bring in all of our planes over here. Bring all of those on one over there. It can't hurt too much. How many carriers have I destroyed? Just the one. Just the one. I've only spotted the one. Um, got a couple um, escorts. Got a couple bogues. Um, but as far as fleet carriers are concerned, I've only seen the one Lexington. Makes me wonder where the bloody hell they are. Because we're right outside Midway. That's where uh, most of their ships will come and go. Uh, we've scouted around Guadalcanal. Scouted around the Dutch East Indies. Who knows? Okay, how are we doing? Can we make our orders a bit nicer here? Is there anything really to do with that? Not a lot. This guy's going to help on uh, that tail there. That's about it really, isn't it? Uh, so long as they're not dropping their bombs, I'm very happy with that. Okay, it looks like uh, no one's really after this plane here, so we're going to try and get a couple over here. If we get anyone that's on their tail, bring this one over. Hmm. Just a wasting game. Not a thing. We'll just about have that. Come on. All right. Anything else? Just the one left over here. There we go. Lovely stuff. Look at all those bombs it can carry. Very very dangerous playing there. Very, very dangerous indeed. If uh, that was over our um, just supply ships there, we'd have been in quite a bit of trouble. See some roofs. It's uh, engaging what appears to be some torpedo bombers. Uh, we'll see if we get sight of that, because we've only got 54% visibility. Don't think we're going to get anything. We need to uh, maneuver around a bit. Go at full speed there. I don't think we're going to pick these up. Uh, just one roof, I think we'll get shot down by their protective gunnery there. What we could do 
is send out some Nels. Uh, what was left? A Cleveland and some destroyers. Mm, probably best not to go with torpedoes, unfortunately. We'll just go for uh, some bombs. Try and get this as it go comes out. Uh, what we'll do is we'll come from their flank, if possible. Like so. That should be close enough. Here we go. So, where is Cleveland? Number two. Excellent. Alright, so it's another chance for us to practice our mangle drops. So we'll increase our altitude a tad. Uh, slow our speed down a little bit. We come from the flank, of course. Like that. That'll do. We can uh, adjust as we come in. Same again. Mm, yeah, that'll do. And we'll go a little slower there, just so that we're a tad staggered. Gives me a chance to actually uh, wiggle around and get some mangle drops off at my own pace. Are there any British cars available? Only Amer um, unfortunately, in this mod, it's only the American uh, carriers. Unless later on it gets updated. But so far, it's just the American uh, carriers. We're going to need to change our approach here. And come from the rear. And with that being said, we'll increase our speed. Worst turns, but uh, hopefully the, uh, the flak doesn't have great, uh, great issue here. even go line abreast and go for that broadside. Well, I think oh, we'll ruin that chance now. It'll be fine to turn in with that. We'll slow down so we get a better turn. Uh, this group can come straight in I think just so that uh, while well, the enemy is distracted by the AA there. Alright. Alright, we're going to have to do this as it is, unfortunately. There's not much time to really turn around and deal with this properly, unfortunately. Okay, let's... Alright, let's slow down a tad. Let's slow down a tad. And... Drop. That's probably a miss. It's just off there, I think. But if we wait any longer, we'd have to circle around and just get shots in the back again. And as you can see, we've already lost two uh, planes in that that run. Let's have a look. Yeah. Ooh! Just about got a hit on uh, the rear there. And I will happily take that indeed. Happily, happily take that. Once again, could try for I think we're going to try the line of breasts here and turn turn in rather 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 like that slow down again easy time aiming all right oh I lost a plane there look at that disgusting absolutely disgusting just make sure we've got everything uh, targeted there and controlled That might be another miss. Just off. Now have to increase altitude speed, and I think we'll turn out a tad like that. Let's have a look. Fingers crossed. Maybe one on the bow would be nice. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Every ruddy bloody time. Got hit by two duds, didn't it? What the
Um, okay. So, uh, yeah, this one only got hit by two duds, uh, which is rather nasty. Um, rather unlucky. Uh, but we got out with a couple of uh, nails. Every time you use nails, it's uh, in the back of my mind. It's like, I'm in G3M from uh, Battlestation of the Pacific. Bloody love that game. Uh, but there's not much more we can do. No, just double check this destroyer. Uh, number five. Minor and minor. Everything else is minor as well. They've been uh, very naughty. Very, very naughty indeed. Uh, so we'll retreat out of that. Uh, moderates and moderates of the Cleveland. Absolutely fine there. Just encourage it to retreat. Yeah, I was not expecting that. <laughs> um, <laughs> worked in mysterious ways, clearly. Um, so that's another supply convoy out of Midway. Um, not being as uh, fruitful as I would have thought, actually, the uh, Midway scouts. But it's just confirming that it is just uh, supplies coming in and out. Um, that's only a couple ships as well, so it's not really worth, not really worth looking at. Really wondering where this group is, though. I would love to intercept this group properly. Uh, I think what we'll do is pay a little more attention for a second to where those scouts are going. You know, they're going this way. Um, I don't think it's this particular group because they're going extremely quickly and there's a really loud motorbike outside at the moment. Sorry if I can hear that. Yeah. I, don't, I won't uh, scout that out, that's out in tactical because uh, we will lose sight of that on the map if we do that. And um, we know there's nothing too huge there anyway. Uh, I'll bring this uh, task force over here so it's not sitting duck. And actually what I'll do now is... Do I land our zeros now? That's the question. Don't think I do. I think we bring in Zweeho a little closer. Ooh, 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 okay, uh, I'm marking this up, um, I'm marking this one up and scouting that out, I, we might be getting a little too excited, a ten, oh, it is a 10 ship convoy guys, oh, look at that, look at that, alright, so it's a Bogue, uh, hospital ship, two hospital ships, uh, Light transport, Harris. Another. This is massive. It's absolutely massive invasion task force. It's only got like one destroyer so far, isn't it? Like two destroyers. Two destroyers, three destroyers, and a CVL. The rest. That is amazing. That must be seven, uh, seven cargo ships. We've uh, launched out some Hellcats. Uh, where are we at with Bogues? We're going to lose this scout. Um, Absolutely going to lose the scout. Um, yeah, there we go. CVL, but 41 in total. We've destroyed. Let's count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Only 8. Alright, so it's come out of that. Lost the scout. So, what we could do is get supply interceptors in there. And we'll come down with the Tayo. So that we get some zero support. And we'll give it a little more time. I'd like to at least get these suppliers on the Tawi Tawi. Hello Dan Haas, how are you doing? Good to see you here. Uh, is this the... This is uh, what we spotted previously, wasn't it, with the uh, Cleveland and the uh, county, wasn't it? That's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. That's just moved up a bit. Just moved up a bit. Hmm. Want me to let the Discord know that I'm streaming? Yeah, it can do. Please do. Thank you, Havoc. Um, I'm surprised it's not been bombarded, my messages, actually, because uh, I did actually upload a, a video 
earlier, but I took it down instantly because um, it was terrible. Uh, actually terrible. Um, so we're doing this instead. I did a, a I did do a uh, practice stream to make sure things are going, but there's no way I can do that privately, which is just annoying. They're really coming in force today. Um, although I will suspect this is not actually... Uh, we'll go with two 500s. I do think this is only uh, supplies though, because they'd be much more aggressive if they were a carry in there. Yeah, it's, uh, what was it, Crater in a Netherlands. That's okay. Uh, what we'll do then is we will come down to uh, low altitude here, I think. Uh, but there we go. Uh, we'll keep it keep it at 100-ish at the moment. Uh, it's still fairly high for a low altitude. Uh, we'll target the one so far, just because it's quite big. Sluggish target. Uh, USA is certainly more flexible um, as a Navy, definitely. Um, I've certainly got the numbers to back it up if you do make mistakes, so it's a little more forgiving in that sense. Um, the thing with the US campaign is it does have rather an intense early game. Um, it sort of forces you into protecting Guadalcanal and Port Moresby and such, uh, because you do get a lot of um, Japanese traffic down there. Um, I think that's probably one thing I'd definitely change about this mod, uh, because um, I'd like to really go on to Wake Island to begin with and almost ignore Guadalcanal and go straight in um, to uh, things like Guam and Saipan and such uh, as the Americans. But um, it is a requirement of uh, this this mod to actually protect your Port Moresby uh, bases and such, or your New Guinea bases. Um, and with the IGN sending the bulk of their fleet down, it's um, it really does force you into that area. All right, so these guys can attack from here. Uh, not entirely sure what's going on here. It does this all the time. You can see our waypoint clearly went over here, but they're circling around and uh, ignoring it. So we'll bring them up over here, let them slow down. And we'll see how these bombs hit first. We do, do have two 500 kilograms per plane. I think the 500 uh, kilograms uh, have less of a dud rate for the Japanese. That's three hits. Excellent. Chris called it heavy. Mm, I think we try and hit this one. I think we try and hit this one. Thank you very much, Havoc. That's very kind of you. Discord's up and down, isn't it? The, uh, the notifications. Uh, what we do is we come out a tad and we'll uh, just manually align this for the minute. Keep the bomb bay doors open. Not a pot noodle, be the bomb bay bad boys. Actually, this new this new place uh, it's on my mind now. I said Bombay. Um, there's uh, there's a takeaway just opposite me, literally the opposite side of the road called Bombay Balsi. Uh, I've yet to try it. Uh, I've got it on my mind. I might do it later. Uh, I think you all need to know that. Um, <laughs> what <clears throat> what we'll do here is um, we'll uh, create a Vic in case that's not already the formation. Looks like it is though. Not much more we can tighten up. Um, we're not coming from the ideal angle here. Uh, what we will do is uh, break an attack here. Like that, so everyone does come in a little word tighter there. Take the UI away for that. Ooh. Very, very nice hits there. Yeah, it certainly does uh, feel much more like a real war where uh, you can't make all of the mistakes, you can't uh, uh, you can't make all the moves rather, you can't play everything by your standards and how you want to do it. It's absolutely right. It does put some pressure and uh, um, gives you a direction to go to at the start of the game, which uh, you don't necessarily have as the uh, Japanese to start with. You do have your troops at Pelelu waiting for you, 
Um, and I, I would say the most obvious one is uh, like we did with Take One, uh, because do, you do have the bases surrounding it. But it does warn you as well that uh, the Philippines bases generally are quite well defended. Um, so that can put you off going straight over there. Uh, critical Heavy, I don't think these will sink. Uh, we'll take one Donryu and uh, just scout around, keep them in sight so we can watch these. We'll compress time there. Imagine the crew in the tanker, yeah, they'd be... Uh, Burnt to crisps now. Still struggling with playing War on the Sea. Playing uh, naval action more. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, naval action is something I've had my radar on. Uh, it's been under my radar. What puts you off with War on the Sea? Uh, Havoc. It's, uh, it can certainly be a lot slower. Um, and it's quite overwhelming to start with. against some nice central fires now. Actually, that's looking good. Uh, I will admit uh, it was a lot a lot for me to take in when I started. It's, uh, I've not played anything quite like this before. Um, it's the sort of genre how it plays around. Very fun though. Grilled to perfection, absolutely. Chef's kiss. <laughs> those 500 kilograms really no really do pack a punch. That's the thing. If those were 800, so I probably would have sunk. But um, I, I have heard that uh, the 500 kilograms have less of a dud chance. Mm. So it really depends on what you want to hit. Uh, note these were uh, cargo ships. I don't think it makes a lot of difference. Having said that, I think these two have got on top of their fires. And despite this being on critical damage to heavy flooding, I don't think that's going to develop. Uh, I've waited around a good few minutes on uh, compressed time. And they're maintaining a fair speed of five knots. I think we just retreat out of there, unfortunately. Which is rather sad, but at least we know it's not a carrier. Look at all the action around Iwo Jima. <laughs> oh, nasty. Alright, Guam's ready to launch. Zero's picked up this. That's really splitting us up, actually. Um. I think we focus on the carrier group because that's much larger. That'd be so much more difficult to fight back. Uh, don't have any spare. Oh, we brought this Jake back, didn't we? Alright. We'll just circle round. That's going to be fairly slow, but we'll have a look. Alright, so we can see a scout came up over here, so we send that over and directly down for it. Beta supplies, ooh, that's nasty. That's going to be nasty. I think we're losing a ship here. Pessimist in me says we're losing a ship here. Oh, ooh, maybe not, we're just in range of our zeros, that is nasty. Um, it's very, very far away. I don't think they're going to have much uh, to do with this, but we're going to form up and just belt this over here. And at least we can chase down any... Uh, yeah, there we go. So we've got uh, both fighters with bombs, and they're already dropping on the Taiye. Another group coming in, I think the Taiye. Oh, we'll move around with the good attacker there. Look at that. Very, very lucky. I will take the one hit there. Uh, we'll move this over to the Flood and Fire. And we will slow down to help us out. Although, are these dropping? Have they dropped? They have dropped. We've shot down an aircraft. At least it did just miss again. This Taiye, did you see the splashes there? Okay, alright. Well, that means we can uh, sit and wait here. But what we're going to do is our zeros will be on fire at will. So they do already have... Uh, some targets. The problem there is they generally go for the same plane, which is why I like to take the time to go for individual uh, attacks right away. Um, now, as I'm sure you all know, um, both fighters have a very, very nasty array of guns, so we're probably going to lose a zero or two here as we come in. 
do seem to come in though and find them, because they're off the radar now. There we go. Alright, let's uh, get in on this. So I'll just take a couple uh, planes here to start with. Start firing up early. Yeah, brilliant. We probably would have lost that. I think that was a smoking uh, zero. Can we get that? Oh, we certainly can. Oh, we certainly can. Uh, struggling to get on the back of this one, though. Having some cheeky shots. Got to admire their perseverance there. Are we looking over here? We're not getting any nasty uh, collisions, are we? After watching the AI sink its own ship there. Now, how are we doing for the damage on the uh, Taiye? We'll get there. We'll get on top of the fires and floods. We'll be fine. Uh, we did just down that boat by set. That wasn't all of them, though, was it? That's only three that we've downed. We've completely lost sight of uh, the other group, though. Might have to be it. There we go. All right. Well, we couldn't find them. That's absolutely fine. What we will do, though, is absolutely going to start uh, targeting our invasion ships there. I want to go for zeros. Don't have a lot of fuel left, but we're going to have to put them over as invasion supplies. Uh, probably should have uh, returned this base to rearm, refuel, and such uh, when we said earlier. It was a bit too late now. So they'll come over and go straight back to the Zuiho now. Uh, another very minor task force. Very, very minor task force. I think what we'll do though is we'll land on Taui Taui with our supplies and call it a day there, unfortunately. Uh, for the stream. So that'll be about two hours then. That's an extra long episode for those that uh, will be watching, hopefully, uh, after the stream, post stream. More Pisces. What have we got? Ooh, the Kitty Horse are back. Alright, fair enough. We'll take those on. Absolutely no match for zeros, if you ask me. So we can take that. But um, although we've uh, refueled, don't know if you saw, I went backwards and forwards there. Um, you don't actually repair until you press return to base and you do uh, the cycle. So we are still in a bit of danger of losing a zero or two here. Uh, I'll just, we'll just do it loosely here with these orders, be fine. If your mum finds out you're dead, oh, I'm sorry to keep you up. <laughs> Do the classic hiding under the covers of the Nintendo. You can save, download and save my videos, put them in a folder called Homework. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit, that's a bit. Just a bit. Oh, that's a pretty easy dogfight there. Uh, is that the last one? Yep, that's three. Oh, no, no, they got another one. We got another one. We're getting ahead of ourselves there. So we've got a single bomb, and he wants to use it. He'll be damned if he doesn't use his bomb. He took off today, saying, look, I've got this bomb under my plane. But he didn't use it, so we're all happy there. Now he's got like 12 zeros on his back. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Oh, that was bloody quick. They're coming back for the tie, eh, aren't they? Did you hear that? They've already dropped. Alright. Can this tie get lucky twice? Can it? He? he can. Just a little bit of splash damage there. <laughs> more coming in though have they dropped they have not just yet okay right what we do then is we go and try and force a dogfight even if it's just with one zero here uh, we do have a couple which are lined up to go straight to them oh 
just a few. Uh, but with this tire, I think they're probably going to go for them. They have not drops. Uh, just, just increase our speed and turn around with this. They dropped already. They have dropped now. All right. Oh, we we'll just keep turning here. More coming in. There we go. Ah, the Kurohime, uh, number one, got a hit actually. All right. Uh, number eight, Wakatake has been hit. Uh, so how are we looking on Kurohime? Rather nasty. That was very close to. Uh, we might lose a magazine here because it's on fire. Uh, but we are trying to deal with that. Wakatake is rather nasty. We might well lose this. Uh, we don't have anything spare there, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to have to slow that right down to a crawl there. And we are focusing on one aircraft. Not a good idea. Uh, these are focusing on one as well. Not quite. Not quite. We can chase those off because they will just come straight back. Might as well hit them while uh, they're retreating. Yeah, that poor merchant. That poor merchant. He's, uh, it's the Wakatake I feel sorry for. They don't deserve to go down. They're only a little escort ship. They were never a threat. They were never a threat to anyone. They're just there to look nice. Just going to increase our speeds because we're certainly feeling uh, the, the speed of the uh, the both fighters now against the zeros. I don't think we will be able to catch up with them. We've been at full speed with these zeros for quite some time. Um, it was very, very slowly catching up to them actually, like that. Let's just speed up all of them though, if we can. Look at that. Come on. Come on. You can do this. They go max speed when you don't want them to. I'll tell you that much. When you're trying to intercept some uh, incoming torpedo bombers, they'll zoom straight past. <laughs> no, I don't understand why they go, don't go full speed automatically either. It's... Uh, it's strange, I do really pick and choose it. Yeah, we can see we're out of range of that. No, he's firing also massively now, is that? Uh, no, that's definitely out of range. Can't get any tickle fire on that, can we? Let's leave that running for a second, because there you go. Oh, I see, that was in range. What was that? Just, just under a kilometer away. We'll note that one down. Might be able to attempt that one then. Yeah, this, they put special sugar in their tea, that's what it is. No, I think we're done there. We did we just start, just start uh, making that one burn down a bit. Might be able to uh, get a little bit on. Around the same range as previously. Got a lot of ammunition left, it'll be fine. There you go. Perfectly timed. Uh, the, the problem is we can't like uh, compress time now because they're technically in an engagement. Uh, but we can see if we look over here, they're actually uh, gaining distance away from us. So it's because they've gone instantly down again. You silly! How about this one? It's the Yorkshire tea. Tea hid in Yorkshire. Don't be daft. There we go. How's our Wakatake looking? Is it sunk yet? Still on fire. Look at that, that poor thing. It's only getting worse as well. <laughs> oh. How are we looking? Uh, what else actually got hit? Number one. Just the number one, alright. Well, that one's basically fine. Uh, lost a cargo magazine compartment there. Looks like the fire might have spread. I don't remember that uh, happening. How are we looking? No, even at... Uh, well, not quite at full speed, but they are slowly... Yeah, I can see the distance rising here. We're not going to catch up, unfortunately. 
So that's five got away there. Hmm. Is there anything else I can do very quickly to make any micro? Because we've course up with where we thought that was, haven't we? I think we just stay very close to our bases since we don't know where they are. And we will land on Taui Taui. Very close to uh, the end of these bloody air raids. We've got another hour left of uh, air time left. Now we're running low on ammunition here. get the feeling they're going to come from the front again. And having said that, I'll just bring these to the sides a bit. There we go. Not forgot again. Alright, more bow fighters. Needs to be very swift on this attack because we've seen the distance they drop from with that altitude and speed. Uh, I'll bring this one round over here expecting two groups, actually. Bring this one over as well. This is very loose orders. I don't think we could be able to uh, get them before they drop. Although, having said that, they've gone for the dogfight already. And there's the second group we're expecting. Uh, just give them like a general attack order there, just so that they do distract that straight away. And we get this group in uh, a little more specifically. Uh, this group is actually coming straight towards them, so might as well get these uh, two on the moss that the eight. Nine. Try and distract them there. Are we quite. Uh, I've got to change our attitude a tad. Down to one. Okay, so they're ignoring us to go for the drop. But they have already dropped. Uh, really should have been alive to that. Oh, they've gone for the six tie. No. Not the tie. Not the tie is. Downed a few aircraft, a little too late though. Get the feeling we're going to get hit by something else there, actually. Mm. No, okay. Well, get this one to stop because it does help with. I should tell the whole formation to stop now because we're all done there, it's just easier. Make sure no one gets any collisions. Um, I think we'll survive this, I think we'll be fine. Do not have an attack order over that one, which is strange. Go fast. F in the chat for Waka Taka, absolutely. Big F. To Geros Rivia. No, it's, it's just going to turn off. Excellent. That's exactly what I like to see in a dogfight. Good thing these guys are uh, on form, isn't it? Don't think we're going to get any hits on if we uh, can we change the speed there. Sometimes it gets a bit a bit rigid about how you change your speeds in uh, dogfights. I think it is just this one left then. Can we. Uh, in no, we can't. How far are we away? We should be able to get that, judging from the distance and what we did previously. Just take a bit of time. Run down our ammunition a tad, and there we go. That is it. So, 9 out of 9. Excellent stuff. Um, I want to... Do we repair? Is there any point? We've only got an hour, hour's worth left of air time up. Yeah, there we go. Went down anyway. CVs. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. That's why we're keeping them away from the side pan. All right, um, that's not good at all. Oh, that's really not good at all. I don't like that. Uh, really don't like that. Mm. Well, that's all we can do from here. Let's uh, go straight in. Just uh, having a little cry before we start. It's bloody night time as well, of course it is. Um... <laughs> Alrighty, um, we'll slow right down. Uh, that's air radar. We want the opposite of that. We want complete opposite. We want the sonar. 
and we're already going to start turning out with our uh, CVs. There's absolutely have to start turning out already. You know what this is. You know what this is. Well, if anything, the torpedoes will half be easier to spot with the uh, contrast of the light of the ripples against the uh, blackness of the waves here. Well, now's the time. I think we're probably going to say bye-bye to one of the uh, big CVs. And that's a real shame because they've really pulled their weight in this... Uh, in this campaign. But if we don't spot anything, we'll give it a minute. We'll give it a minute. If we don't spot anything, we'll uh, we'll come out in a, in a hurry. In an emergency retreat. But keep your eyes peeled for those torpedoes. They will look very similar to the crushing waves. Easiest to spot as soon as they're launched, actually, because they're all in a cluster, of course. Uh, I'm not getting anything. Sea state is exceptionally high at 6. 23% visibility. Do we turn our destroyers to try and find anything? That's the question. I think what we're going to do is just adjust our speeds a little bit. Because uh, being a little complacent then. Change our course. I'll give it I'll give it I'll give it another 30 seconds. Ooh! What the bloody hell? What the bloody hell is a star shell doing out there? That's not a submarine then. It's really not a submarine. Might just have to retreat out of here. Um, so there's nothing we can do, I'm afraid. Might just have to do a cheeky, cheesy retreat out. Alright. Get right up close to your screens, guys, and squint. Try and find any shadows, any muzzle flashes. the fuck is over here this time of night? Go back to bed. No one wants to be operational at this time of night. I can't see anything. They must be fairly distant. Well, having said that, you'd thought they'd be right on top of us with this uh, visibility, wouldn't you? I can't see anything. There's one. Just, I really do wonder because it's just a single star shell. Um, certainly suggests a destroyer. Cargo ships don't carry them. You have to come out of that though. That's there's nothing happening. Can't spot anything. Just come down and um, what we'll do is we have. Four destroyers over here to have a look at that. But either way, we're going to land on Tawi Tawi overnight here. See these again. Well, I know it's not a, deed, uh, just a submarine, so we don't need to uh, be too careful with that. I think, having said that, I've got, <laughs> I've got the panic on. I've really got the panic on, so I am going to uh, manoeuvre, assuming it's a submarine anyway. Now what we'll do is we'll slow down. We'll assume it's a submarine, although we did see that star shell. Yeah, it's another single star shell out. 
there's nothing we can spot. Uh, it's a little, it's a little annoying to see, but we are just gonna have to keep going in and out of that. I think um, that does suggest it is a surface ship, though, of some sort. That's all we can say at this point. Uh, we're not quite in range here. We need to get around the uh, island, don't we? Yeah, we just need to get right on top of that. Um, I'm going to ignore this one. We know what that is. That's a Cleveland again, very likely. Uh, don't fancy our chances again at night, to be honest. Alright, so, should be in range now to all of that just to uh, unload some supplies. <laughs> and not even any troops. Just there to keep tight for a future invasion, and that will be the job uh, next time. So if I can source out the cursor there, just having a moving too quickly there. So um, just to, in case any of you do douse it, we dropped off these supplies on Manila ages and ages ago, and they've uh, still kept in shape here. You can see 6.7 thousand there. Um, so these supplies of ours will be safe on Tawi Tawi until we burn them down with our own troops. Uh, so I am going to call an end to the stream there, guys. That's been uh, two hours, I believe. So uh, thank you very, very much for watching the impromptu stream. Hope you enjoyed it. It's great to see so many of you back so quickly as well. Um, just as hungry for it as I am, I'm sure. <laughs> so yeah, I do very much appreciate you coming in today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you in the future. Bye-bye.